Hey, welcome back guys. Today we are going to take a look at this video card. Now this is just a probably the longest reigning I call gaming champion ever produced. This is the RX 580 from AMD. And the reason why I say that is even right now it's probably an amazing 1080p a gaming card to this day. And it was very sought after and very, very popular during the video card shortage. Now what's wrong with this one is, as you can see, that fan is spinning, but it sounds a little rough. And then there's this. person that I got the card from basically was overheating and crashing. So what we're going to do today is we're going to replace these fans with new ones. So removing these fans is going to be uh, not so difficult. We're going to have a plug right here and we'll have a plug right here. Now there's a third plug to remove the fans. If you turn you're going to find little screws inside and you'll need a little Phillips screwdriver and you got to get between the blades okay I don't know if the camera's going to see this proper but there is a chrome screw right here you get your screwdriver down in between and you unscrew it I believe there's probably three now I'm not going to worry too much about getting the screw Oh, there we go. So there's one. There's another one right here. Now, I don't think the fan is free, but that tells me there is one more screw and it should be up around here, right here in the middle. A lot of people think you have to take the whole entire shroud and everything apart. You don't. You just have to take your time, find the screws in between the blades. I highly recommend a magnetic screwdriver, of course. Again, I wouldn't worry too much about the screws. They will fall out. I feel like I'm not getting this one. There we go. And I have not unplugged the wire yet, as you can see. But right now I'm just trying to see where that screw went. Now, while this, of course, is apart, I should take it and clean it. As you will see, it is pretty grimy and disgusting. So now I'm just going to take my little spatula-like dude and help me unplug the cable here. Okay, so what I'm noticing about this way of doing things is that you would end up wanting to cut this cable because it is fed down through and then pull it out. To do this right, I'm actually going to take the shroud off and I will show you why. And to do this, you're going to see screws inside here. And I think there's only four, two on each side. Now the card I am working on is actually the uh, Gigabyte uh, variant of this card but this is pretty much a reference design so I wouldn't expect much differences with other brands of course their coolers are going to be a little different or shape different and the screws might be in a little bit of a different spot but overall it's going to be the same procedure That's another thing I like about the simplicity of the 580. So now I should be able to just pull this off. Just like so. And we need to unplug this connector here. Well, and there's an example of what I was trying to tell you not to have happen. There we go. And the other one is right here. 
as you can see here this definitely needs to go and get a cleaning this is the perfect time if you want to repaste it or whatever the case may be this is the right time to get this job done now now here's why i took off the uh shroud see the wires are actually kind of married in now this is the all right so here's your fan connections here and because of that this is not going to let go so i would have to come out through this little clip and this is kind of important if you want to do it right in the end because you want to put them back in where they were now i guess at the same point i could just unplug from here i want to see if the new one came with all of the extra cables or is it just the fan cables and it has come with all of the cables the daisy chain everything so that is awesome because and you'll see that they also have gigabyte stickers on it not saying that these are probably gigabyte originals but they are to look at least original so they know that the connections are all there so i'm just going to pull all these connections then and put all new in instead of trying to bother plugging and unplugging connectors everywhere in other words out with the old in with the new this was the only fan header so it was only on one side that's good to know now we have to unscrew the other fan you can see the dirt just coming out even on here it's gross so i'm gonna have to unplug one side regardless there we go out and, and guys, I highly recommend if you're replacing one fan, you replace both. And the reason why I say that is, it's just simple as, wow, that needs to be cleaned too. So let's put that for cleaning. Um, the reason why I say that is one fan hurt and the next fan hurted her. <laughs> In other words, junk. If this one's done, could I fix it? Yeah, I probably could. It probably has a spot here where I can re-oil it. But there's no point in that at my point thought in this now it's just going to get bad again and brand new fans for these are not the end of the world they're they're not very expensive so and i'll also put links to these fans for the gigabyte version these fans should be the same that are on the nvidia card that looks like this card and so on it is a very commonly used fan kit on gigabyte Hey guys, I just came in, gave it a cleanup. As you can see here now, that is definitely much better <laughs> than it was. It was pretty gross. Uh, if you look at it in the wrong ways, you'll still see like stuff. There's there's always going to be something that's not quite, you know, as colored or discolored as usual after it starts to get grimy. But the card is clean, so I'm going to put that aside. We're going to come back to this now. And we're going to mount, and this has all been cleaned up as well. Or at least as best as I thought I did. But we're going to put it back together now. Now, another thing I want to say too is I'm pretty sure this, like I, I think I, I mentioned it earlier, but this shroud is pretty common in NVIDIA and AMD cards for this era. And this should apply to almost numerous different brand names for anything that's going to be what I call um, a spec card. So anyway, let's get this back together and we'll start going from there. I guess running the right fan first is probably the right way to do this. And I would say that that right fan would be this one. So the hardest part here, of course, is not remembering how that was to understand where I can put it so this is not going to be an issue. Okay, I think I have it routed to a point where I'm going to be somewhat happy. Now it's time to flip this. I may have to redo my wiring underneath after because at this point now I have to get the fans in place 
and allow them to line up with the screw holes, which is easier said than done. Finally, we're getting somewhere. Looks like that little cable problem has gone away on its own. Now let's see how hard it is to get this one done. Just when you think you have it, you don't. Well that's not rolling very good, is it? Alright guys, let's get this back on. And hopefully everything's moving freely. So, guys, connector's here, somehow flipped upside down, I put it there. So, there, something for you to watch out for so you don't do what I literally just did. Now, the easiest thing here is it might just be fixable via this wire. That's all I can hope on. But that's the good news. There we go. I make the mistakes that you don't have to. I recommend plugging all your wires in before you start putting the heat sink back on. Not having to worry about trying to get your fingers in there. And that includes the RGB side as well. Okay, small setback there. Camera battery died and I had to plug it in. I'm having a little issue with getting rid of this wire because tucking it is not exactly working out the way I want it to. Okay, so now you can see we have a serious warp here. And that is what I need to fix now. <laughs> we have it. It wasn't uh, easy. I'm not going to say that. This was a easy task, but it isn't really a hard one either. But as you can see, my fans are spinning now. My wire situation is gone and I still didn't make it ugly. So there we go. Nice refurbished, beautiful card. Now, one thing you might ask is why I didn't take the cooler off and do brand new paste and so on. These cards, when I bought them, were AMD refurbished. I'm guessing they were probably mining cards. So they were refurbished by AMD directly um, and brought back out to my suppliers. Now, fans dying and stuff is gonna be a common thing. You can't help that. And apparently the machine that this was in was gaming hard, but it still came through. It didn't die. Now this guy has a new chance on life and brand new fans. Guys, I hope this helped you. It frustrated me, but now I know. Make sure I got room here, get the cables hidden, or this isn't going on right, and you'll have a fan hitting a wire and causing the same problem it had. Basically, dead fan, except for it's not, it would be stuck on a wire. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. I hope this helps. Till next time guys, you might want to, you know, slam the su subscribe button. I know that, uh, let's say, 79% of you watch the video, but you don't like or subscribe or whatever the case is. And that, and that is truly up to you guys. But 
it does help the channel the most. If you have any questions about this or any other card, let me know and I'll try to either help walk you through the situation or maybe I have a card here that I can do the job on or maybe somebody might in the audience want to send me a card to get stuff done. That is on you. So till next time, game over.